William Hill, the home of betting. Well, hello from Ascot on Ladies Day. It's a warm day. The sun's just gone in, but it, it's been dry overnight. They have watered the track, four mil uh, of water put on, but the going remains the same. It's good to firm on the straight course, good to firm, good in places on the round course. And uh, William Hill's John Ivan Duke joins me uh, to look ahead to the action on day three. But first of all, just looking back at day two and uh, another caning for you guys. Well, I'm still smiling because there's three days remaining, but um, should it continue along these lines, then it's going to be a dreadful, dreadful Royal Ascot meeting for the bookmakers. It's been fairly awful so far. Eight of 12 favourites going in um, and we took an absolute caning. Even Trev getting beaten was... We thought that would be a fantastic result, but the fugue went in and price-wise tipped it up. So we've been hammered in all corners. So just running through the action today then, John. First of all, the 2.30, the Norfolk Stakes. And Aidan O'Brien, not got the greatest record in this race, but he's certainly got a hot pot in it in the Great War. Oh, absolutely. And uh, the Great War, one of the best-backed horses across the card so far today. And we expect more money to come in as the day progresses. 10 to 11 now from opening price of 5 to 4. It's hugely popular, and rightly so. A million-dollar purchase. And at that sort of prices, you want a Royal Ascot winner. Anything being backed against him? Not really, not really. It is all about the Great War. I thought that um, to be determined for Wesley Ward might be interesting. The trainer had the win of the race last year. And looking at the 305, the Tercentenary Stakes, looks a really wide open betting heat, this one. It does, it does. Um, there is one that's uh, very much a hot pot in this race as well, though, and that's Canic Chase, who's 2-1 to one from 11-4. to four, One of the best-backed horses on the card. Might even be the best-backed horse at Royal Ascot today. Um, we do expect a big run from Sir Michael Stout's horse, um, who I think probably is very much top class. And looking ahead to uh, the Ribblesdale at 3.45, there's been quite a strong word for the French trader of Vizera. Is that proving popular in, in the offices? Well, I mean, Vizera is the 3-1 to one favourite at the moment, but there is a, a statistic that I had a look at here. The trainer, Alain de Roya Dupree, he's naught from 17 at Royal Ascot over the last few years. That's not a statistic I want to be backing a horse with. But bright approach uh, for John Gosden, uh, who was third in the Cheshire Oaks, and I think we'll get a, ni a nice bit of cover today. They'll go a good gallop. And I think it might just suit Bright Approach. And that's the one that they've come for in the betting. Six to one from eight to one this morning. And what about the big one, the, the Gold Cup at 4.25? Is it all about leading light? It is all about leading light. Although there's been a little nibbles elsewhere. Uh, leading light now, 11 to 10 from six to four. Probably go off odds on um, with punters getting stuck into the Aidan O'Brien horse. There is a worrying statistic about Aidan O'Brien, though, um, over the last few weeks. He's only had five winners from his last 46 runners. And that's not something that, that the yard will be too proud of, I wouldn't have thought. Australia, I think, winning the derby, took those... those that one of the five. Yeah, exactly. Took those concerns away a little bit. But, you know, now I think, I think it's interesting um, to, to look at leading light. Is it going to be the, the sure thing that everyone's going for? It certainly seems to be uh, in the betting. Estimates a drifter uh, this morning so far. 10-1 to 1 from 8-1. to 1. We've pushed that one out. Uh, the reigning champion. It's a much tougher race, I think, this year. Well, one good result for the bookmakers yesterday was Abseil getting beat in the Royal Hunt Cup. Same connections have got Idea in the Britannia at five o'clock uh, and is he proving popular with punters yeah ideas 10 to 1 one of the co-favorites at this stage but the one for money so far is a price wise tip up and that's Bilimbi, who's 10 to 1 from 14 to 1 co-favorite at the moment and the best backed horse comfortably in that race horse to combat we expect a bit more money to come for that one later on that one's 10 to 1 co-favorite as well uh, it's a really wide open betting heat and hopefully we might get a bit more money back into our satchels today in that race and you might well do as in the 535 as well. The King George V looks a, a devilishly difficult contest. What's the one coming for money? You know, this is a, a, another wide open contest. Um, Win she is interesting. 7 to 1 from 8 to 1. Um, was second to Canic Chase. And obviously, if Canic Chase wins earlier on on the card, we might see a plenty more money come in for Winchy. You'd expect that to happen. Um, so do watch out to see how Canic Chase gets on. Stars over the sea at bigger prices, 18 to 1 from 25 to 1. There's a, a non-runner in there as well, so that throws things into the mix. And there have been a few price changes on that basis. Uh, personal opinion, 7 to 1 from 8 to 1. Uh, one of the Godolphin runners in the race. And uh, Elite Army currently favoured at 6 to 1 from 7 to 1. Again, a very, very tricky way to end the card.
And finally, just looking at the, the top jockey market, still a pretty uh, wide open betting heat, I'd imagine. Do you know, I think there's a really good bet here, and that's Joseph O'Brien, who's 10 to 1 in the betting to be the leading jockey. It's 5 to 4 Richard Hughes, that's the favourite. 2 to 1 Ryan Moore. But you've got to consider that Richard Hughes is only on two winners so far. Ryan Moore's on one. Obviously, Joseph O'Brien yet to get on the score sheet. But given the strength some good chances yeah they? given the strength of uh, of Joseph O'Brien's rides over the next couple of days but then again Aidan O'Brien he's not firing at the moment is he well it remains to be seen but a fascinating uh, few days to look forward to remember if you want to keep up to date all things Royal Ascot you can do so here on racingpost.com and through our free mobile app